Well, the true and honest answer is, how the hell can you find out when they won't let you do research? It's totally insidious. We don't know. We don't know because they will not allow uh, the, the research to be done. This is one of the reasons why I say that you should stick with uh, shamanically sanctioned plants. Because we know, for instance, that people have been taking psilocybin in the Sierra Mazateca of central Mexico for millennia. They don't show blindness, tumors, miscarriage, madness, cataracts, whatever. That's your human data for that. But you go to, let's talk for a minute about something like ketamine. Nobody knows. Nobody has any data. MDMA seems to be tremendously effective in facilitating interpersonal stuff. That's a psychological issue. Chemically, what kind of data do we have? You know, six years worth of data gathered under duress. So uh, to be safe, stick with the things that are sanctioned by human use. And then uh, in some more enlightened future, we will explore these synthetics and find out just what the parameters are. Yeah, I'm saying take things which have been sanctioned by human usage. I mean, how about a plant like Strychnos Nostvamaka? I mean, you're dead in a minute and a half. And it's a beautiful, wonderful plant. Why did it kill you? Well, because it's jammed with strychnine. No, it's nothing about uh, it being a plant. It's about having a repeated history of human usage. That's what sanctifies it.